Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan and I hope this video finds you safe, healthy, and well. To get our mind off of things, we are going to be creating something beautiful from something rather boring and it's gonna blow your mind. So let's get started. Our home used to be a vacation rental, so when we purchased it, there were coffee filters in our home that we don't use. And so we are gonna turn it into some beautiful decor. We are going to take these coffee filters and this food coloring and create the most gorgeous, realistic, classy looking hydrangeas. So let's get started. Okay, so we're all ready to start. I've laid down some plastic to protect my table from all of the dye that we're working with. And I'm gonna be primarily working with blue, leaf green, and yellow, just because the greens and the blues will really work with my decor, but feel free to use whatever colors you like. I th think that they would look beautiful in pinks and purples and oranges, whatever works for your decor. So that will be up to you. And then I've got an assortment of sponge brushes and regular brushes that we're gonna work with. And then I have my cookie sheet lined with tin foil. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But my pan's a pretty nice pan, so I wanted to protect it a little bit. Now we're gonna take our coffee filters and each flower is gonna take about eight coffee filters. But we're gonna start out with two of them. And we are going to lay them down and kind of try to flatten them out a bit. And then we are going to fold it in half. Every time you make a fold, you're gonna wanna cut down two inches, approximately. It doesn't have to be exact because this is not gonna be an exact science. In fact, it's a very forgiving project. Then we're gonna fold it in half again. So now you have quarters and make sure you make your snip. And then fold it in half again and make your snip. And then one last time till you kind of have like a thin wedge here. And of course, make your snip. And then we have this little wedge. Now all we're gonna do is take my kid's pencil <laughs> and we're gonna draw just like a regular looking flower. And try to take up as much of the space as possible. The pencil won't actually end up showing, so that's okay. It's gonna end up kind of looking a little bit like a shamrock because then we're gonna make kind of a wider stem and then it's gonna kind of flare out at the bottom. This next part you may want to do over a trash, but I won't make you look into my trash while I cut it out. So then we're just gonna cut it out. And like I said, this is a very forgiving project here. So just do your best cutting these out, but if they're not perfect, it's okay. And we're kind of doing like a paper doll thing. So then you open it and you should have something that kind of resembles a snowflake, to be honest with you. And so that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna lay these down and start painting. And the first thing we're gonna do is start out with some watered down green. And we're just gonna put that kind of like in the middle and all over just to get started. This is where all your creativity comes into play. Coffee filters are very thin. So I do two of these at a time because the food coloring will bleed right through, which is totally fine. Usually I don't like bleeding, but in this case, it's perfect. I start by taking my watered down leaf green food coloring and you can use whatever colors you want, but I start with a green base on hydrangeas because most hydrangeas do have a base of green. And as far as the main petal colors, you can choose any color you like. You can choose pinks, you could do purples, you could do oranges, whatever works for the decor in your home. Just apply the principles that you're learning. I chose to go with blues and greens because that is what works with my decor. Once I have a base of the watered down green, I take a small paintbrush and mix up a couple of different variations of blues and greens using a little bit of yellow here and there and mixing the blues and greens together and just making a whole bunch of assortment of colors because you're trying to go for a variegated effect. Think of it kind of as a tie dyeing effect. Like I said before, this is a very forgiving project, so there is no right or wrong way to do this. But I did kind of concentrate some of the darker colors around the edges and then maybe a little bit in the middle here and there. 
and then I had some lightness in between. Let your imagination go wild here, but I do pretty much keep the main bulk of the center green. I know I'm not doing it on a cookie sheet in this demonstration, but in the end I found it, it was easier to do it right on the cookie sheet to begin with because when I tried to lift it up and transfer it to the cookie sheet after the fact, it was kind of difficult. And so it ends up just being better if you do this process on the cookie sheet and then you don't have to do that transferring process. And then you want to layer about eight of them on top of one another. That's about how much one flower will need. And then you'll kind of alter the petals or so they're not stacked directly on top of one another. And then you just keep repeating this. And so once you have several stacks and you've filled up your cookie sheet, now it's time to bake. So now it's time to pop it in the oven. We're gonna put it in at 350 degrees for about 17 to 20 minutes. All right, it's time to take it out. All right. While these are still a little bit warm, we are going to kind of pull them apart. Before we assemble our hydrangeas, we need to make some leaves. We're going to take a couple of the filters at a time and then we are going to fold them in half, making sure to do kind of the same snipping process as we did with the flowers. And then we're gonna fold it in half again so we end up having a quarter. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the round part and fold that over right down the middle and at a point so you kind of have like a half moon shape. And then we're gonna take our pencil and trace that so you have kind of a symmetrical looking leaf. Then we're gonna just cut that along the line and open it and there you have your leaves. If you're enjoying this project so far, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me take on other types of flowers. I was kind of leaning towards maybe like some pink peonies or something like that. So let me know in the comment section below if that's something that interests you. Now, just like our hydrangea flowers, I start with the watered down green and then I take some darker green and kind of do that around the edges. Then we put them into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it while it's in the oven. Okay, so. They are done and I kind of played around to see what it will look like. It's so cute. I am so happy with how they've turned out. So I've just made some different stacks of different like colors. I've got one stack of green right here and then the rest are kind of just the variations of darkness and lightness. And we're gonna try to mix those together so they kind of create a really natural looking one. Now I'd recommend instead of doing the leaves in the big one stack to spread them out into two or three. Otherwise it will take a little longer and I got a couple of burnt edges and that's okay because we'll just take some scissors and trim off the little burns and it will be fine. Also, I have these wires left over from some tulips that we used in a couple of episodes ago. So we're gonna use those because we are using a shorter container to arrange them in. You can use floral wire or in a pinch, you could cut one of these apart and you've got that, but we're gonna just toss that because we're not using it. We're gonna start with this darker one right here. And we're gonna make a stack of eight. And we are going to just kind of rotate them so they don't, the petals don't line up. So they're kind of offset a little bit. Mix up the colors so that it's just like a totally natural look. And make sure you just kind of mix and match. And we want a total of eight. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna fold this in half, like that, and then we are going to roll it in kind of loosely. The tighter you roll, the tighter the bud, the looser you roll, the looser the f overall flower is. It kind of looks like that, but we need it to be secure, so we're gonna take a hot glue gun and glue that together. And then while that's setting, we can kind of crumple it up and then feather it out to kind of get a natural looking thing. It's looking so good. I cannot believe that this is coffee filters. 
Then we're gonna take one of our wires, put a little glue on the end, just shove it up in. So we'll let that set for a second. So I start out by taking some floral tape and doing it much as I would with a corsage or anything similar to that. And pulling it out and stretching is what causes it to be sticky. And I do a layer of this and I spin it around the wire and the base of the flower. And then it's time to add some leaves. So I'm gonna put a couple of leaves on each one. And the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of crumple it up and then I'm gonna fold it in half lengthwise to kind of create a seam. And then you're just gonna accordion it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we've kind of mimicked a leaf. But to give it some support, I'm gonna take some of this wire And we're gonna just run a bead of hot glue and attach it and then we should be able to mold our leaf. So we're gonna take a couple of our leaves and tape them to our floral stem and then we're gonna have a few left over as well to just kinda of add into our arrangement as we put it together. I don't show this process, but you can just arrange it in whatever container you want and if you want to have a long stem so you can do a taller arrangement, that is totally up to you. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And until next time to all of my DIY Niners, stay healthy, happy, and safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.